Hi everyone, this is Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and I'm here with Galena. Galena is a big girl, as you can see. She's a chunky girl. Yes, beautiful and a little skittish, so I gotta move slowly around her, or she's gonna might jump off the table. Okay, Galena is about two and a half or so, not that old not that young she's right at that age when you know things start to go wrong a little bit but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about is your guinea pig too fat um, Galena would go to a vet for instance for just a general checkup and it's very likely that the vet would say oh my gosh this guinea pig is a, a beast I hear it all the time where people go to the vet with their guinea pig even if they're actually normal looking for some reason um, you know, vets like to say they're obese and you've got to limit their food and put them on a diet. Which, oh my gosh, I cannot imagine putting a guinea pig on a diet. That's just, no, we can't put a guinea pig on a diet. If anything, you want a little extra weight on them in case they do get sick so they have a little weight to lose, you know. And uh, if they're already skinny to start with, there's really nowhere to go if they, if they get sick. So um, a skinny guinea pig is an unhealthy guinea pig. Maybe that works for other animals like that or other rodents, but definitely not for guinea pigs. Now, there are some things that also make a vet think that maybe uh, they are overweight. And that's, I'm gonna show you. That is because girls like her, if you look at her, yep, she's a little chunky lady, but these are all adding to what appears to be big and it feels solid as well when you when you're holding her however this is all excess skin see that it's just i can put my fingers together here's excess skin and not only that but inside of those are little lumps and those are fatty lipomas which are totally normal totally fine it happens all the time with guinea pigs a lot of people don't actually even notice them but if you have an older guinea pig at a certain age, you know, again, certain age, I say that a lot, but about two and a half years or so, three and up, feet, take a little feel and see if you can feel some, some right here under the, under the, under the arms and, uh, and right here. They have this same stuff here, these fatty lipoma, this excess skin that makes them look really big. So if we take that off, she would already start to look a lot skinnier, I suppose, you know lot more in shape if you will um, and then let's show your booty mama big booty girl so this girl here as you can see the booty is actually good shape it's a normal shape to be honest what's making her appear a little big are these sides here and that is something that just happens with older piggies boys and girls so girls can sometimes get some reproductive issues and, and cysts and so that, that's why the sides might appear bigger or actually get a little bigger um, but generally when they get a little older they tend to get like a little belly you know they get a little little bigger in the waist area just like people <laughs> so all in all this is not an overweight guinea pig so I just want to make sure I, I just hate seeing people being advised to put guinea pigs on a diet because it's it's not it's not fair and it's not necessary and you know I've never seen an overweight guinea pig I really haven't uh, we used to have a lot of the, the big cooies from Peru, those were, I'm not kidding, this big. And uh, they were big and they were just chunky pigs. And I would get so many people coming with them for um, health checks and stuff. And there were so many people telling me then as well, my gosh, the vet saw this pig and told me he's way too big. Or do you think she's pregnant maybe? Or, you know, and it's just because they were built that way. So. Um, so this is a female. Do boys get just as big or even bigger than she is? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, sure. They get the same thing under the chin and, and all this extra skin that's gonna make it appear that they're a lot bigger. Um, they do get that little tummy going on here on the side, little rounded side, though, though the girls definitely get a little bigger, a little bigger rounded sides, but they still, you know, you won't be able to see the difference. If she had a brother, it probably looked exactly like her. Yeah, he she's, would. She's gorgeous. She is beautiful. They would call her a potato. Yeah, potato. Yeah, she's a good potato. So, <laughs> so yeah, if you hear your vet say or you read online that your guinea pig is overweight and you must only feed a certain amount of food and limit the pellets and limit the this and the that, 
I, I personally don't believe in that. I really don't. You should just feed your guinea pig as much as they want to eat. And, you know, they're eating salad pretty much. Salad and veggies and fruits. I mean, you don't really get fed on that, right? And, and even like the carrot says, it was too much sugar in the carrot. You can only give a teeny little piece every, every other, like every other day or so. And it's okay if you feed them every day. You know, the sugar content in the carrot is not gonna make them fat. It really isn't. So, Saskia, I just came up with something. What do you think about putting her on the scale to see how much she weighs? Ooh, let's do that. Let's see. Yeah. Because she's a healthy pig, and so let's yeah. see what a healthy pig weighs, pig weighs right. right now. Let's Let pause it and that. take a second. Yeah. Okay. This is always a interesting, but I always manage to get them on the scale with all four paws. What do we see? How much is it? What? 1422 grams. Nice. That's a nice weight. That's good. 1422. We always like to weigh them in grams. And how um, old is she? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Okay. It's your, you did such a good job. It's a good girl. So there, I just wanted to share that and hopefully it's helpful and I'm sure some people are going to say, Saskia doesn't know what she's talking about because guinea pigs should definitely not be fed unlimited and stuff. You know what? It's okay. You have to do what you feel is right for your guinea pigs. You know, that's really the most important thing. Not because I'm saying it or someone else is saying you just want to do your research and then come to a conclusion and just do what you feel in your heart is the right thing. Okay? I think that's the most important. Everyone has free will and... I'm definitely not going to say, oh no, unless you do it like I do it, you're not doing a good thing or whatever. And that brings me back to the guinea pig police. Don't let them drive you crazy online or in forums, you know, just just relax a little bit. In fact, you know what, I actually got, got not accused, but someone would say, yeah, I like Saskia and the work she does, but she's just so laid back. I just don't like it. She's a little too laid back for me when it comes to, you know, the food and care and stuff. And, you know, and that's fine. They're, they're, they're okay if they want to if they feel that way but um, sure I'm laid back definitely and you know there's a good reason for it you want to have fun you don't want to you know and the animals don't suffer because of it I just really feel you just need to just relax and have fun with your animals and then make sure you do the right thing and you will know what the right thing is thank you guys don't forget to subscribe for more videos say bye bye Sass thank you